Hi, I'm Corey D. Simone, and I'm here to tell you how to track multiple objects in After Effects. So today we took moving footage of signs, and we blocked out two of the signs using a motion tracker. This would be a great thing that you could do if you have a license plate that you need to block out in some footage or somebody's t-shirt, it would apply to the same concept. So the first thing is to import your moving footage into After Effects. And then you want to create a null object layer. Then you're going to go back to the layer that has your footage and you are going to apply a motion tracker to it. Once you apply the motion tracker, then you, it asks you where you want to place it, and you will place the little x of the motion tracker um, in the center of the object that you want to block out. And you make sure that you pick a point that is very clearly defined and that stands out from the rest of it. Next, you're going to apply the tracking motion, and then when it asks you what you want to apply it to, you say the null object that you created. Next, you're going to want to create a shape layer. And that shape layer can be the color, like the orange box that we're going to create over the, si uh, over the sign. And so you create that shape layer, and then you're going to parent it to the null object. By parenting the orange solid to the null layer, you are having that orange box that you created follow the motion tracker that you've placed on the footage so that that orange box will follow the motion of the camera and make sure to block out the sign wherever it is within your footage. I've applied the same process to the red stop sign in the footage as well. You can create a variety of interesting effects tracking multiple objects in After Effects. You could create your own sign on top of another sign. You could create interesting text effects or you could place footage onto already existing footage and have it move with it. So play around, have fun. Mm -hmm.